the only banda special for running suffered a setback in 2011 when she was banned from competing in school athletics because of her visual impairment. The school where I was studying refused to let me take part in sports. It took the interests of some well-wishers who backed me that allowed me to start running. Thanks to a 2012 sporting event organized by Malawi's Paralympic Association, Banda's running skills were sported when she won both 400 and 800 meter races. Banda went on to win medals in several local events and in 2016 became the country's first athlete to represent Malawi at the Paralympic Games in Brazil. But she was disqualified because she left her lane, a mistake she says will not repeat at the Paralympics in Tokyo. I have learned it is not good to run on the edge of the lane as you are likely to be off track. This time around, Malawians should expect me to bring a gold medal from Japan. But the conditions in which she trains are not the best, say some observers. A criticism dismissed by Banda's coach. We cannot ask more just because this is what we have. So we are just training here. Only that the tactics that are, we use here, they are this very same tactics that we are, I mean the athlete can use during the competition. So it doesn't matter much to us. Like Banda, children with disabilities in Malawi often suffer from stigma and discrimination. Although Malawi enacted a Disability Act in 2012 to provide equal opportunities for people with disabilities, activists say the law is not being implemented in some areas. This has to happen at all levels, not just in the, uh, government offices, but also even in rural areas where most of the uh, persons with disabilities are living. Banda is supporting a campaign to ensure children with disabilities, especially girls, aren't left behind. Kaunair has inspired me a lot. She has set a good example that disability is not inability. Her success in the games confirms that. For now, Banda continues to prepare for the Tokyo Games as she hopes to fulfill her dream of bringing a gold medal home. Lamik Masina for VOA News, Zomba, Malawi.